So, what activities did you participate in that allowed you to improve your speed as you matured? What activities did I partake in? Yes. Yes, what activities did you participate in that allowed you to improve your speed as you matured? Like, um, I would say at a younger age, just trying to keep up with my two older brothers. Um, that helped with everything. Uh, but growing up, I played on you know Toronto FC, uh, the national team, um, and had a good uh, club coach in my hometown. Um, so always working with ladders and, and that type of thing. That's good. Describe the environment of Hamilton, Ontario, and like how did living there prepare you to become the person you are today? Not just the player, but who you are as an individual. Um, here, um Hamilton, Ontario, um, I mean, there's a lot of immigrants. My parents are immigrants. Uh, my dad's from Portugal. My mom's from China. Um, so I would say Hamilton's just a lot of hardworking uh, people just trying to provide for their families and that type of thing. So I'll definitely say that mentality has been passed down to me um, and leads to my work ethic and my ability to down. Did any other schools besides Syracuse reach out to you for offers in terms of recruiting? Did you hear my last question, Ryan? Um, giving me the opportunity, to obviously, to play in the best conference in the country. Um, so once Syracuse is a school that I wanted to go to uh, all along because, again, they played in the best country and it was it was close to home. Um, that opportunity came, came about. Uh, That's a great answer. I love the answer you gave. Um, tell I, I want to ask you about your transition to the States, but I'm not sure if I need to because you wanted Syracuse out as a school you wanted to go play for when you were in Canada, and you were able to transition there fairly easy. Uh, I wouldn't say fairly easy. It took, it took a, call, a, a couple of years of trying to get on their radar, um, and I reached out to them, you know, and trying to um, get a scholarship. Um, and then during the recruiting process, I actually broke my leg in Syracuse. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's great to know that you recovered. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's great to know you recovered. Hey Ryan, it's Chris again. It's I was trying to empathize with you, but it's awesome to know that you recovered and you put in two very productive years at Syracuse. Yeah, I mean, the, the recovery after breaking my leg was definitely tough physically, but uh, mentally I was still tuned in. Um, you know, I still wanted to achieve my goals. I never strayed off uh, because, you know, that's kind of around the age that, that type of stuff happens. Like 17 is when I broke my leg. Um, but no, I stayed focused, and uh, I, I knew what I wanted, which was, you know, like to play collegiate soccer and then eventually be a professional. All right. When you first got to Syracuse, did you receive any advice from the coaching staff or certain players about what you got to do to make it or what you got to do to succeed? Um, yeah, definitely. The older guys, when you get in, there was there's a lot of big personalities. Um, at Syracuse, you know, you're playing with basically the best players from every club, academy, and definitely at Syracuse, a lot of guys from uh, overseas, Germany, Switzerland, um, that type of thing. So it's definitely tough competing and dealing with a lot of personalities, but um, I, I think definitely at the start, it's just, again, keeping your head down and putting in the work, and that, that's how you gain the respect of uh, your teammates and coaches. Um, not so much talking about it, but just working hard uh, day in and day out. 
What was one thing that you learned from your freshman year that allowed you to assert yourself as the leader of the team after Tejon Buchanan and Kamal Miller went to the MLS? Buchanan, a generation Adidas talent, and Kamal Miller started a lot of games for Orlando City, even though he fell the second round. And he was a guy I had a first round grade on, so I was kind of surprised that he slipped as far as he did, to be honest. For sure. No, yeah, I think I think Kamal is, in my freshman year, by far, the best center back. Um, you know, I can't say in the country, because obviously I didn't watch every team play or whatnot, but I'll definitely say in the games that we played in, he was by far, by far the best center back. Um, and yeah, King John's obviously, um, he's, got, he's got everything, right? He's big, fast, strong, he's good with his feet. Um, so he'll definitely be successful in the next coming years in MLS, just that transition period. All right, go ahead and talk about your strengths as a player and as a person. I watched the film cut you did, and I thought it was a great film cut. I I see a, someone who's fast, athletic, can shoot, determined to get everybody else involved, and I just see a very complete player in terms of the tape. But why don't you tell our listeners about what you do and why that's going to help a team at the next level? Um, the type of player I am, um, positionally, I like playing on either, either wing, left or right, it doesn't really matter. Um, growing up, I played in the 10, even at Syracuse, I played in the 10 for a good amount of the season. I could also play 8, um, and I honestly see myself at the next level playing as a wing back on either the left or right side. I think I'm pretty tactically aware and pretty good with uh, either foot, um, but some uh, attributes about me, I love taking guys on 1v1, one one, uh, dribbling at guys, uh, passing around on one two with my teammates. Um, that's probably my favorite, favorite thing to do in soccer, to be honest, is combining in the final third, you know, quick passes, one-two touches, uh, getting a shot off, that type of thing. And, yeah, as you mentioned, I, like to, I really like to get my uh, teammates involved. You know, I think an assist, I'd almost rather get an assist than score a goal. Um, you know, to just help your teammates in, in that aspect, so that's the type of player I am. And uh, I'll say something about me is that I'm creative. Um, I make things happen, and I'm constantly working. Um, I'll say my work ethic is high offensively and defensively. Um, I don't share any tackles. I track track back, and yeah, that, that's what uh, the teams could expect from me in the future. I hardly saw any weaknesses on tape besides maybe getting stronger or more dominant. What's something you'd like to improve in at the next level in terms of ability? Um, in my opinion, I could definitely improve in every aspect of the game, especially um, when I do get to that next level, being around you know some older pros that have been playing for 10, 12 years, um, and you know picking up the small things. Um, on and off the field, I think will definitely be important. And just growing as a growing as a player, uh, you know, being coachable, um, that type of thing. You know, I know that at the next level, just like at Saints, you have to earn your respect. Um, nothing, nothing is really given, so you just got to go in there, put your head down, and work hard, earn respect, and yeah, like learn from learn from the older guys because you know they've been there and been playing at that level for so long. All right, my last question is, who was your favorite soccer player growing up? Uh, my favorite soccer player growing up was definitely Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, I'm half Portuguese, um, and especially him in his prime, early Real Madrid years, uh, late Manchester United. Um, you know, he's the type of player to get on the ball and run at guys, just be relentless and take on guys shoot from anywhere and have a lot of confidence. Um, obviously, he's not that type of player anymore, but I'll definitely say mentality-wise, um, definitely, definitely my favorite player. Um, you know, I try to take part of his game and incorporate it in mine on the mentality side, which means you want to be the best player on the field. Um, you want to help your teammates. You want to score goals. You want to just be the best on the field at everything. Uh, so mentality-wise, definitely Cristiano Ronaldo. Playing style more. Um, he used to play for my favorite club, 
healthy. Uh, Eden Hazard, I would say. Uh, you know, he's kind of built like, uh, we're kind of built the same. Obviously, he's much bigger than me and stronger, but, uh, you know, a shorter guy who plays on the left, um, loves to combine in tight spaces, uh, loves to dribble at guys, loves to be creative in the final third. And, yeah, that's who I, that's who I try and uh, emulate my game after him. Awesome to hear, Ryan. Good luck at next week's MLS Super Draft. I really enjoyed talking with you, and you seem like a very intellectual t person, and you really seem to know what direction you're heading in. And it was great to talk with you. For sure. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. That was Ryan Raposo, Syracuse attacking midfielder. He led the team in goals and assists. And he's one of four generation Adidas players in this year's 2020 MLS Super Draft. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, Join us at the Utopia of Sports.